So what's up guys, it looks like the we're getting an update this week, so most likely Wednesday, and this will be adding DLC pack three. So without further ado, let's see what this update holds. So outline of this update, additional items added, 10 revision keys, additional parts, extended magazines applied, all rounders, extended magazine, sharpshooters, main range goes up 100%. Reload is down 100%, I guess, because you get a lot more shots with 100%. I don't know. And all movement plus 20. Obviously, I'm never going to use those. So we do get more EX missions, 7, 8, 9, and 10. We'll be unlocked after clearing all hard mode, etc. So make sure you definitely clear hard. <laughs> the play DLC mission Flash and Rebirth is now supported. The following mission will be playable if you have purchased DLC 3. Flash Fade and EX Mission Extreme 5. So EX Mission Extreme 5 is going to be a part of this, which is good. The DLC 3 units, a scenario pack flashing, will be available October 27th, 2022. What? That's so far. It's not even close to October 27th. That sucks. That's, oh, well, I mean, it was a guarantee because that's three weeks, but at least we're getting an update this week to kind of compensate for it. Please now, in order to play Mission Extreme 5, you'll need to complete the Rebirth Destruction, Flash Fate missions, in addition to Free Mission EX Mission 10. So don't forget, guys, finish all your EX missions, pretty much. System adjustment for playable units. Adjustments have been made to make the ease of hitting SPAs. Um, that's good. Adjusted the SPA to turn toward the direction of the enemy unit at any time during the SPA cutscene, which is good. Because we did, we're having that kind of problem, believe it or not. In addition, the stepping distance and guidance performance after SPA activation for some units have been adjusted, including some units that perform dancing SPA attacks on the spot. Nice. The effect of some parts increased the weapon usage, which also increased reload time when equipped, has been changed to the effect that it does not increase reload time. Okay. Adjustment of the roll all rounder added double SPA recast god gauge. Recovery speed effect to the effect during roll action of all rounders in addition to the existing effect. Oh, so now your SPA will uh, increase a little bit faster. Not only that, because all the rounders have really strong SPAs in general. So the fact that they did this while in roll action, it'll build a little bit quicker. So for Double O Quan and Arios, the recovery speed of the SPA recast in Transamp State is one point times faster. Nice. The stagger for the all rounders was increased. The stagger for each action has been significantly increased, making it easier to take down mobile. Armors by continuously targeting the same part of the body. Okay, cool. So that's what staggering was. <laughs> Adjustments have been made to allow roll actions to be used during roll action effects. This allows the use of skills generated by roll actions at any time as long as the skill gauge is, has been accumulated. The number of repair kicks for all rounders have been changed to five. So now all the all rounders have five health kits, which is interesting. Adjustment of the role of infire. In addition to existing effect, added a boost concentration by 0.7 and final damage suffered by. Point eight to the effect during roll action of infighters. It's now easier to take advantage of the infighters feature of sticking to the enemy inflicting damage. Continue. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's why we have those um, percentage ups. For the types of SPA like full armor unicorn where the roll can be changed from structure to infighter, it's possible to receive the above effects by using roll action during SPA effects. However, the effect is lost when the effect time of SPA expires and the roll is returned to its original roll. So yeah, I mean full armor unicorn was definitely the case. Adjustments have been made to allow roll actions to be used during roll action effects. This allows the use of skills generated by roll actions at any time, as long as the skill knowledge has been accumulated. The number of infighters repair kits possessed was changed to four. Oh, that's nice. Just basic hate multiplier for infighters. Nice. But um, that's actually good finally. They finally buffed infighters with a health kit of four. Now they're all going to be godly. Game balancer update. Adjust multipliers for damage taken and damage dealt due to level difference compensation. Interesting. Level just damage modification from version 120 to version 130. 0 to 3, 1 point times. Level difference from 4 to 5, 1.5 times 6 to 7. I think this is just eliminates the extreme increase in damage story even at some level of separation. So they kind of fixed the leveling system too, which is great news. So there's a lot that they actually fixed, which makes this is gonna make this game a lot more fun to like even new players. The HP of mobile armors appeared in the following missions have been adjusted down. There we go. No more hardships, guys. Now you'll have an easier time with the game. I'm not even going to read all that part. Adjust the ease of downing mobile armors. Hit the parts continuously. Stag them. The downtime period, which on body parts effect, which adjustments the value set for each part of the mobile armor have been adjusted to make it easier to take down overall. Nice. In addition to adjusting the all-rounders, has an upwardly modified stagger effect, making it easier to work with a team that includes the all-rounder to fight mobile armors. That effect's just got a whole lot better. 
Adjusted the specification for a beam barrier and mobile armors. The interval between breaking the beam barrier and the activation of the beam barrier has been extended from 30 seconds to 60 seconds. Okay. Some mobile arms are not subject to adjustment. The durability value of barrier was gradually recovered after a certain period of time after damage was inflicted. Yada yada. Uh, you can just read that or pause it. The attack effects that occur in the behavior hands and psychic gun. Yada yada. Duration attack of Hashim Pound's attack has been renewed. Okay. They really are adjusting everything that we all had problems with in the past. But I already beat the game, so I don't really care about that. <laughs> adjustment of the enemy ace units. The grabbing skills used by the falling enemy have been adjusted so they are easier to avoid. Oh, really? You don't say. You don't freaking say. <laughs> adjustment of the HP and enemy battleships. The HP values of the value have changed. Nice. Adjustment of capital acquisition. Oh, this is good. The amount of capital drop from enemy units have been adjusted upward to make it easier to strengthen the units. There we go. Hard, flat, 1.5 times the increase. The amount of capital appear from containers has been adjusted upward for all difficulty levels. Nice. Normal containers. Containers appear in the X-Men flat five times the increase. Good. The amount of blueprints sold has been adjusted upward to the flat five times the increase. The blueprints developed even to automatically sold results, and the amount of sale corresponds to the amount of sales. Nice. The sale value expansion, five times. Rarity, nine to ten. Flat, two times. Nice. So they made it easier to grind capital, which makes me upset because I did all that work. Just kidding. The sale amount of uncapping material has been adjusted. So the good news about this is... We are not going to level 110. We might go to level 110 by the time DLC 3 might drop, but they are giving us EX stages to play this week, which is good. Adjustment on lock on behavior when destroying enemy units. When enemy units destroyed, a function has been added to automatically change the lock on if there's another target that meets the lock on condition. So that's interesting. Players can turn this function on and off. Cool, cool. Correction of item drop time when drop destroyed. adjustments have been made so that the items will drop without explosions or break out effects again when the enemy is destroyed. Nice room right on six. Extension parts cannot be sold on the results. Oh, there we go. Extension parts can now be sold on the results too when checking the acquire. The resolution you can select and sell the expansion parts by pressing the go to the expansion parts sell button. Yay. That's actually the best thing. On cabin materials and other items except for expansions cannot be sold on results. Okay. It's not possible to lock favor and on off expansion parts so they are not eligible for the sale on the expansion part. Okay, cool. When it's actually for multiplayer rooms that players available can be entered or now displayed at the top of the list with priority given those rooms. New call-out message, yada yada, fixed a problem which the pilot level display was not probably affected when transitioning to multiplayer lobbies. Please know that uh, fixed a problem in certain missions where the enemy archive would get caught in turn. And no. Special melee attack of Arios code has been adjusted so it's now properly beam. Oh, interesting. The counterattack of Gathro has been adjusted so it's now properly beam. Okay, cool. The SPA of Gundam is straight gulf has been adjusted so that it's now a melee damage. Was it range? <laughs> I think it was. So they actually updated Gun Demonstrate, which is great. SBA of Guard has been adjusted so that it becomes a physical damage correctly. Nice. The launching attack of New Gundam has been adjusted so that it's now melee damage. I guess it wasn't melee. I knew there were some problems with these characters. I told you. Subweapon 1 of Moon Gundam was described with a beam icon with the correct icon. It's physical, had a feeling, so the icon has been corrected. Thank God. The main melee of Chat Shot Wing was indicated with range damage icon, and the icon has been corrected. Okay. I told you. I told you they did that to Chow Chow. <laughs> Correction has been played to some playable units. Fixed problem that ran the combo of special melee attack into the air to strike attack for double O and freedom from making combos. Neat. I like that. Fix to actively guard against mobile shooting attacks when partners are targeted by mobile suits. Okay, fix an issue in which pilot skill has said combination with making money did not increase the capital earn. It didn't? Oh. I had a feeling that was a glitch. You know, I didn't really notice it, but you know. <laughs> Allow players to set any action to the side button of the mouse. Up to two actions can be assigned. Multi-action, multi-button action can now be set to single press keyboard. Roll action, lock on, and lock on target. Change operations during mouse. Uh, yeah, this is all mouse. Uh, we don't say that would be confused for we're already playing the game to change the default key. Assessment. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, that's all computer stuff. Other graphic text monitor may. We apologize for anything. Thank you for control. Okay. So let's go. They updated the game. They actually are correcting all the mishaps and mistakes. So now our game is going to be really fun, and now I think this game won't be a problem for a lot of players now in the future, since now they're nerfing the mobile armors, which is great. So now you can actually play the single-player game without a huge hassle. So that's all we have today, guys. So DLC 3 will drop on the 27th, but we will be getting EX stages 7, 8, 9, 10 this week. So y'all be good. I'll stay safe. We'll see y'all another time. Peace out.